I feel really good about certainly where United is uh, and the industry in general, despite all the challenges. There's tons of well-publicized challenges. You know, certainly we're doing well uh, and feel really good uh, about where we're going, where we're headed. Many of the challenges look, I don't think they're going to get solved in the short term, but they look, they certainly have bottomed and they look set to get progressively better. So, you know, I'm really optimistic about where United Airlines is today and where we're headed in the future. The airlines that are being successful like United, uh, I think I've also focused on trying to really improve the customer experience and and putting customers first. Um, and so not only is the foundation of demand strong, but when you create an airline that customers believe in and want to fly, uh, you win market share as well. There's gonna be a lot of turbulence politically and there's gonna be a lot of noise, but I don't think that's fundamentally gonna impact demand one way or the other. At United, it's really about execution. You know, we have a great strategy. We started this over four years ago uh, during when COVID was still new and still fresh and wasn't even called COVID yet. Um, and we just now have to execute on the plan, which is easy to say, um, you know, but when you're taking 100 narrow bodies a year and 20 wide bodies a year um, with all the supply chain, all the other issues around uh, execution is, uh, is easier to say than it is to do. Uh, but our team is doing a great job and really just continuing to do uh, what we do, keep our people feeling like they do, the amount of pride that they have in, in United Airlines. And if we do that, we're going to be the best airline in the history of aviation. I'm probably the more the minority that think artificial intelligence uh, is more evolutionary than revolutionary. Uh, I think it is going to do some really cool things uh, for us, particularly um, being able to communicate with customers and tell them what's going on. We have something called Every Flight's a Story, and my direction is to the team, if, we're, if you're on a delayed flight, pretend I'm on the flight and I have called our network operating center and said, what's going on with my flight? I want you to tell every customer what you would have told me. Um, and artificial intelligence will help in places like that. Uh, but I'm in the camp of more evolutionary than revolutionary. If you look at what's happening in the U.S., the, the sustainable aviation fuel industry basically doesn't exist today. You've got to You've got to build it. You've got to have carrots uh, to build it. That's the only way to make it work. Um, and tons of investment is going into it. And I talked to my friends around the world, and they complained about the Inflation Reduction Act. And I said, you should do the same thing. Uh, but the best example to me is wind and solar. The wind, wind and solar, I'm a climate change geek. And if you went back and read 30 years ago, wind and solar, everyone said, uneconomic, impossible to ever compete with coal and natural gas. Today it's cheaper to produce a megawatt of electricity with wind and solar than coal, and it's all because of carrots. There were huge carrots. They drove massive investment. The cost of solar panels are down 90 something, you know, almost 98 percent. Like wind power is way more efficient than like carrots drive investment. Carrots are a hundred times more effective than sticks.